So the girl is called Clem and Clem's mother is cat meow meow cat with K. Maybe the dead cat is the mother of the little girl. It's everything connected. This bird I don't trust it. I'm not gonna like what it's going to do. BAM! Get out of my way! Because you don't have it. Beautiful. Beautiful like me. Ooh, that's not beautiful. The shiny. Well done, but we are not finished yet. So I should remember that this game was played with a gamepad and also for me this game it's a point and click not because you literally point and click because there's no mouse to point with and of course you cannot click you can only tap or press but it has the mechanics of a point and click game so let's start oh mm, i forgot So we've seen this from the demo. I expect or I imagine it will be either, if not the same, very similar. So we take this book, we already read this book, but if this is the first time you see the game, because this is what we saw in the demo. Uh, just in case, we need to bring beauty, and beauty is highlighted, is blinking. So let's have a look at this chapter. Beauty is related to the butterfly. And here, I won't read this time, this time. It has some interesting information. Sometimes it's a clue, sometimes it's just inside knowledge of the world. So nothing to see here for now. And nothing to use here. So. Let's go up. This is like a cellar. Here we took the oil, but I'll do one thing now. The, because you approach the oil and it says you can take, then you can take it because it's free. I'll wait this time. Until I know what the oil is for, I will not take it. Let's go to the pantry. And here we have two drawers that are locked. We don't have the key. We got one key, the one on the right, this one, because of the shape of the keyhole. And that's it. Nothing else for now. If I'm not mistaken, we came from here. The clock is missing a hand and we take notes. Seems like the dining room clock is missing a hand. Tempus. Tempus Fujit. A vase. For later. This cat has a key with a shape same as the keyhole from before. So if we find the cat, we find the key. Next to the clock I saw a photo of a cat, or maybe it was a painting. I don't really know how to tell the difference. Anyway, what I wanted to write down was that when I looked at the cat I felt bad. I think it's because it's dead. Is that what they call sadness? And we take this glass, glass jar. Uh, inventory is triangle. Separate, yes, in a second. Glass jar, inside there are lots of pointy sticks. They are called nails, my friend. Actually, um, it's not my friend. Not because we are enemies, of course, because we don't know each other, but in the demo I was calling it or him or her or whatever, a uh, sack boy because it reminded me to Sackboy. But 
I think it's called Ragdoll, just Ragdoll. And maybe I don't like to call it Ragdoll, so we'll call it RD from Ragdoll, it's short, so RD. It's cuter than Ragdoll. And there's a picture, a frame, cubist of a person. We know what is this about, what this is about, but I won't spoil. I'll wait. We w it won't take long to see what this person is doing. There's a strange painting in the room, and it's broken. Broken or torn. It's more torn than broken. Door is locked, and then upstairs we have a another door that is blocked and then here we can't go through because the creepy girl is asking for beauty pretty and probably dead but still pretty and here there's a symbol like in the notebook on the on the floor here we have a book that is wasted and then here it says look but there's nothing but obviously there's something it's like a secret door we'll see in our moment Another lock door. Piano man. And then here. I didn't notice at first. Butterfly. I didn't notice at first. But there's a moment where there's a character here behind the glass. I didn't notice where, while I was playing. But while I was editing the video of the demo. And then I realized there was someone. And it looks similar to us. So maybe another ragdoll. This is the butterfly that the little girl wants. But we can't have it. It's escaping us. We have to close this window. So it doesn't escape. The cat seems to be there. With the key. This window doesn't close properly. And in the greenhouse, here we have a small puzzle, but we can't complete it because we are missing a um, we are missing a piece. This piece is missing. First, we have to find it. I'm in the way. And then here we have the same marking in the on the on the floor. We can take this. It's not a. It's a. a tro trouble. Garden trouble. I think this is a tool for digging holes in the ground. So let's dig. Let's dig a hole in the ground. Let's unearth this cat. Nothing wrong with that. Now we have the key. And with the key, we can open the drawer in the kitchen. I'm happy with that. And it's this drawer. Now we use this key. In the pantry there was a locked drawer. Inside I saw a handle. A piece of metal and a note. Uh, 
that I hope that you never open this drawer because if you do, I'll tell mom like I did last time so that she tells you off again and again and again. Stop taking my toys. Sign, angry girl. And this is the note. Now we have this handle, which at first I didn't see how this was a handle. It looked more like a um, slingshot. It resembled a slingshot to me. It's only missing the rubber. But we'll see in a minute how this turns into a handle. So far, nothing else here. Did you take a good look in the pantry drawer? Thank you. And we also have the missing piece. I was thinking, I believe there was something else, like three things, three items. So the note, the handle and the piece. And with the piece, We can complete the statue puzzle. Inventory, yes, and use the piece and the other way. Piece is in place. Now we just need to complete it. And we start with select this one. I'd like to start with this one. And maybe not. Maybe it's this one. Yes. Something like this. And then I need the one we found which connects with this one and then this one what? oh is something like this and something like this excellent now we jump very high and trust me we jump so high that we get the piece of glass but we also jump high and super quick so you couldn't see it if we go combine yes that's what i was going to do we can combine these two with square and square and voila that's the handle we had before lens. lens of truth well And this lens lets us see some things that are not visible at first. There's nothing else here that it wasn't in the demo. Doesn't seem. And with the lens, with our objective is to get the butterfly. For now, mm, let's. There's something here we need to do that. What I don't remember is what we had to do with this truth of lens. We just got a nail gun. It's empty, but it. it was full I guess I'd be able to use it for something there are two drawers here nothing we can do for now so with the nail gun hey you I saw you this time I got you but you escaped with the nail gun now 
we can first go to the menu and combine nail gun with nails, of course, not my nails, and then close it. And I guess we have to use it. Yeah. Nice. Now the butterfly will not escape. It's trapped. But still we can't uh, catch it. Nothing new from the demo here. <laughs> So, we continue, we still have the Lens of Truth, I remember now. So with the Lens of Truth we can come here and uncover something, but I don't know what that is for, so I'll leave it for later. We come here to the Wasted Book and we can use it to reveal the truth, that's why it's called Lens of truth. Makes sense. One. And two. And then we uncover the information for the pansies. And I read with the demo, but not necessary to do it again. Uh, it tells you that the pansies attract butterflies. So that's a clue. I found a book on the little table in the piano hall, but all the letters have faded and I can't make out what it says. With the lens of truth I can see what it says on the faded pages. Turns out that the book was an encyclopedia of flowers. The page that was marked went on about some colorful flowers that attract some bugs called Lepidopterus or something like that. Butterflies. So now we go for the get the pansies. And with the pencils, we can get the butterfly. Easy peasy. Pencils are these ones. But it's not that simple. We need to place the pencils somewhere. We can't hold them because otherwise the butterfly will not come to us. So we come to the vase here, the butterfly escaped, but it will not next time. There you go. That's right. And we can't grab the butterfly with our bare hands so we use as it says the prompt we use the glacia it's pretty isn't it let's see how long it lasts inside that jar now we are in position to give her her beauty And this is where the demo ends. The Shining. Well done, but we are not finished yet. We wake up again. I thought we would meet this little girl, but we are back here and the book is not with us. Another note, it says bring me determination. Could this be the handwriting of the voice? So we got not just the book, but another a new note. Now we have to bring determination, but that 
we have plenty. I would like to check the termination. So for that, I go to the notebook and I go to the first page. The termination. Looks like a water drop. Helicidade or helicidate or I don't know how to pronounce. Because this probably comes from Latin. Snail. The snail is a mollusk which moves very slowly by dragging its body along the ground. It has a spiral shaped hard shell in which it can hide when it feels threatened. Another peculiarity is that the snail is a hermaphroditic animal and as such can take on either male or female characteristics according to the manner in which it develops. That's handy. It can live on land or in water and is equally comfortable in hot climates such as that found in deserts or cold climates like that of the seafloor. Although what snails like most is to soak up the sun after a gentle rainfall. The rituals which use snails always have one thing in common. The alchemist must wait patiently while the living snail crawls from outside the pentagram to the center. Many accept defeat before the ritual is complete. I suppose you must really want something badly to wait patiently for so long. Fibonacci sequence, the golden number, that's what we are looking for, apparently, or something similar. Let's see what, maybe something has changed in this house, so that we can use it or deliver the termination. What is for sure is that the snail is very fitting for the determination. You have to be, or maybe not determination, but patient. Maybe I should take the oil now because I foresee we'll need it soon. I still don't know what for. And yes, indeed, something has changed. This door was locked before. Nothing we can use. And this water is not letting me go through. Lens of Truth. I was thinking because we did this, we fixed it in the demo, and I was thinking, how did I do it? See if I don't have any tool or anything to fix it with the Lens of Truth. Just one more. There you go. And we get this, which is related to the piano, but still don't know what to do with it. We'll, we get the symbols, but. a dead plant here probably will recover it later I hope this door was blocked before as well let's explore look with so this is similar to the statue from the greenhouse let's use the lens and what before was a glass, now is um, a device from Assassin's Creed. Nothing else to do, let's see what RD has to say. I've seen a painting which has a lady in it just like the one in the greenhouse. When I looked at it through the lens, the painting changed a little bit. I'm going to draw it here. It might be important. Another locked door. This is the house of the locked. Uh, all of the drawers are locked. Runic sure key. key will be very useful. Well, all keys are very useful. All keys are very useful. Especially in this house where everything is locked. Continue. Woo. Runic key. 
I don't have a problem closing doors with a spell, but I'm not so good at opening them until now because finally I have the runic key. It's like a lockpick, but way cooler because I made it and it has really cool engravings. Ha! The creation ritual was a bit more difficult than the one I did for the Lens of Truth, but in the end I found all the special items I needed around the house, and it turned out just how I imagined. It's amazing because I managed to get the floating stones to move just how I wanted, without them knocking into each other. When I show it to mom, she's going to be so impressed. Now I'll be able to create any combination. I need to open doors, drawers, locks. No keyhole in the house will be able to keep me out. But I, I got a, a question. We are the ragdoll. RD. RD. Ragdoll. We are RD. But RD is writing in the notebook. But the text is like if the girl has written it. So either two options. Either we are being controlled by the girl, even though we are RD, or we are not writing on the notebook, it's just we are uncovering the information written by the girl. So the notebook belongs to the girl, but RD is not writing anything. Look at the picture, and we have a ladybug, a witch, and a plant. What do we have to say about that? Yes, take. We take everything. Look, drinks. And probably we have to put them in order or shuffle them or mix them up. Look, yeah. They all look the same. Probably we have to do something with them, but nothing for now. And there's a globe. And that's it. Nothing else. So we got. So we didn't. We don't have any new item. It's only information. And over the door, we have a symbol, like the one from the notebook. It's temperance at the top here. Temperance. That's added over the the door. It's blocked. Okay, so not good. So we need to do something to live. Oh, we need to use this magical key. So I guess we need to push restart please, yes. So we have this key, I mean the key, the the pieces of the key, the little stones. We have to push them up and down, actually only up, only up for now, but I foresee we'll have to push them down in the future because of the puzzle. And we have to align the, the pins. The pins have some markings and we need to put them in a way so that they align, I believe. So for example, this is one up and this, I don't know, but it's like five or six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is more like a two and this is like a four or three. One, two. Let's do three. Uh, so it was one and then we did six, but it's more like a eight. It's one, eight, and then we did two, which is correct. One, eight, two, and the last one we did two, but it's three. So it's one, eight, two, three. So, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This was two, 
one, two, and this was three, one, two, three. And it's not three, it's four. One, eight, two, four. So it's one more. Now, there you go. Something strange is going on. Before, I woke up in the same place again. I keep hearing a voice asking me for things and now the door to this room just closed on its own. It doesn't have a lock, so I don't know how I'm going to get out. The magic key I found was only useful for unlocking that drawer and inside there were just pieces of paper. There must be some way to get out of here. But this is, this is RD writing, because it's happening right now, but in here this information about the runic key it's like the girl speaking so i'm confused here it says luckily mom let me use the handle from an old handheld mirror that i found in the attic maybe it's just these magic toys they belong to the girl so that's why that's a big text to the most handsome man of the house and the entire town. I still remember how happy you made me when you said yes to taking that trip around the world with me. It was our first trip together and it was so special. You'd only just finished your course specializing in psychochemistry and I still had a few years left of my entomology degree. You didn't want me to miss classes during the three weeks the trip lasted. But when I showed you the quantity of amazing flowers and bugs we were going to discover, I made all of your fears disappear. Yes, I know I ended up repeating the year, but we learned so much on that trip, didn't we? I was able to see giant beetles, blue color bees and the rarest of butterflies while you were fascinated by the fire lilies, violet anemones and your beloved pansies, although I've no doubt that the thing you enjoyed most about the trip were the spirits we had the chance to try. Am I right? You should have seen how your eyes shone as you opened each new bottle and you took the chance to explain to me everything you'd, you'd learned at university. The rum was the one we liked most, wasn't it? We also really liked the cherry schnapps that we tried near the burning marble valley. But we both agreed that the rum from Angel Island was the best of the trip. Oh, and do you remember the herb liquor they gave us in the Misty Mountain? We only took one sip because of how little we liked it. It was awful. I guess this is telling us the order for the bottles. What else did we try? Ah, yes. In Labyrinth Seas, they gave us a bottle of gin. And on the trip to Misty Cave, we tried the local whiskey. I remember that the one we liked most was the one we drank on the cliff top, watching the little boats heading out to sea from the river. The other one was tasty too, but the best thing about it was that we drank it surrounded by fireflies just before bed. Such a beautiful moment. It's been 10 years since that trip, and to mark the occasion, I've decided to prepare a surprise for you. I don't want to just give it to you. I prefer that we play a bit and you discover it for yourself, given that you are nearly as intelligent as me. Smile. I'm sure it won't take you long to solve the riddle. Here we go, okay? These still are memories and you'll find the key that will take us to our new sanctuary. Well, have you got it yet? Come on, it's not that difficult. Ah, by the way, Clem helped me prepare the game. She said that if you need a clue, you can ask her and she'll help you with one of her toys. But that in exchange, you have to stop taking them away from her. Seems like a good deal to me. Great, you've got some distilling to do. I'll be waiting for you in the sanctuary. Don't take too long, cut. So the girl is called Clem. The name of the girl is Clem. And Clem's mother is Cat. Meow meow, meow meow. Cat with K, which it's all, all connected because the cat has the key. Maybe the dead cat is the mother of the little girl. It's everything connected. And take a note of that. Okay, let's read the order or maybe we should use a tool. Now we can select them or not. Move. 
Okay, we can swap. It's not move, it's swap. In the direction of the trigger. Got it. No magic tool. And then we need the order. So we the wrong was the one we liked most, wasn't it? We also really like the cherry snaps that we wait a moment. How many? There are five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, they are in bold. Burning Marble Valley, Angel Island, Misty Mountain, Labyrinth Sea, and Mystic Cave. From the beginning, Cherry Snaps that we try near the Burning Marble Valley. They liked that. And the rum from Angel Island was the best. Let's get the rum from Angel Island. This is the rum. And they liked the Burning, burning Valley. They look like flames, so I'll guess in this there's a symbol of a cherry, so I guess that's right. Now we have three remaining, and we go here. Angel Island was... Uh, so, so, so. Oh, and do you remember the herb liquor they gave us in the Misty Mountain? We only took one sip because of how little we liked it. Misty Mountain is the worst. Misty Mountain is this one. We have one more. Uh, what else did we try? Oh yes, in Labyrinth Seas, they gave us a bottle of gin. And on the trip to Mystic Cave, we tried the local whiskey. I remember that the one we liked most was the one we drank on the cliff top, watching the little boats heading out to sea from the river. Labyrinth Seas and Mystic Cave. The other one was tasted too, but the best thing about it was that we drank it surrounded by fireflies. So which one's which? In Labyrinth Seas, they gave us a bottle of gin. And on the trip to Mystic Cave, we tried the local whiskey. So gin and whiskey. But which one they liked more? I remember that the one we liked most was the one we drank on the cliff top. Watching the little boats heading out to sea from the river. Maybe it has to do with the drawing? So they like the one, they, this is the Labyrinth Sea, and this is the Mystic Cave. But there's only a wave, this is, this might, ah, oh, it's the other, the other way, because this is the Mystic Cave, but the lights, shining thing might be the fireflies. I remember that the one we like most was the one we drank on the cliff top, watching the little boats heading out to sea from the river. That's why there's a wave, because it's related to the sea. The other one was tasted too, but the best thing about it, so they like Labyrinth Seas more than Mystic Cave, so it's the other way. But the best thing about it was that we drank it surrounded by fireflies, the shiny things. So it's this way. Brilliant. Yay! And we got the device from Assassin's Creed. Orb. It's like a golden ball. It's very heavy and very shiny. Is it open? Block. Mm -hmm. Still blocked. I was missing this. 2nd of September. I've just realized that that took away all my toys while I was at camp. Well, tonight I'm going to take them back and hide them where no one We'll find them, 3rd of September. I've hidden all the toys, but I nearly got caught. While I was in the study, I thought I heard footsteps, and because I didn't have the teleport charm, I had to quickly carry out a ritual to close the door to stop that from catching me. With this spell in place, the study door will close behind me every time I enter, and only open again if I disappear from the room or if I use some green books from my dad's library to form the symbol for temperance. At first I tried to do it with discretion, but I got nervous because of the footsteps and I didn't do it right. I think I moved something on the other side of the door though. Anyway, in the end nothing happened and that didn't catch me. I haven't undone the spell in case I need it again. 6th of September. I don't think I'm going to have everything I need to start my project just with mom's books. So tomorrow night I'll close myself 
in that study and take a look at the botanical encyclopedias. I'm sure I'll find something interesting. So we didn't have to swap the bottles to get the orb, at least just yet. To unlock the door we needed the, this note. Because we opened the drawer with the magic key, the room key. And then we have to do something here. Now we can move these things, these books. But as I understood we need to make a symbol. It's the symbol for temperance, which is like a T. Alrighty. With these books. Something like this. And the door is unlocked. We can live with the orb. No, nothing else. So we got out with something that we didn't have before. Oh, now we can open this as well. Since we are here, let's uncover this symbol. We uncovered it in the demo, but we didn't do anything with it. I found a hidden symbol on the wall beside the piano. So we apparently can go through that door, but can we go and see the girl? I foresee that this is going to happen many times. This is blocked. We might be able to explore the outside. Here we have the piano with the symbols. But we don't know what we have to do. So for now, let's not do anything. Get this door opened. Let's say one, two, three, four. This is more like one, two, three. This is like one, two, three. And this is like five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's try. I'm a bit short in all of them. So like one, two, two, one, one, three. So two, one, 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 two, three. Uh, one more in the first and the last. One and one. Uh, I think it's correct. Open. I like the vacuum. Mr. Sniffy. <laughs> Mr. Sniffy is happy. What did I take from the ground? Can. The label says bicartonate. Bicartonate. No. Bicartonate. Bicarbota. Uh, whatever. It's empty. Bicarbonate. And doesn't matter because it's empty. Did Mr. Sniffy just blink? He 
his eyes are moving. His eyes are moving. Mr. Sniffy is suspicious. He's hiding something. Let's leave. Before we regret it. The drawer is broken, it wasn't like that before. We can take the screwdriver. Screwdriver. An extremely hard metal one with a plastic handle. We can't open this. Oh, we can, of course. Now we have the key for all of the locks. Oh, that means we can go back to the pantry. Let's see. Two up. This is more like one, two, three, four, five. This is down like three. One, two, three. Probably one more, and this is more like two. And short one in every. So one, 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 and one. Nice. And we take... I thought it was a fidget spinner, but it's a handle. A handle? A red plastic knob for a shot of valve. It's... And there's nothing in this drawer. It's... There's nothing now. What do we do? We continue exploring or we trace back? This is blood, there's nothing else. Nothing new here. Maybe we can give the statue the orb? Like in the painting? Ooh. Well done. Since we are here, we can trace back to the pantry. But since we are here, let's go through. Use? Use what? Fountain? Oh, there's a snail behind the leaf. Look. There's no water. Okay, so it's no water, little water, and plenty of water. Let's leave it up. Little close. There is no water because the pipe in the bathroom is broken, I believe. So let's fix that. And this bird is not going to eat my snail, isn't it? So we go back to first the toilet, the toilet, the bathroom, use the valve if we can. This is not the bathroom.
Hey you little girl Bathroom is this way So now nobody has water because we stopped it completely. Now we need to fix the pipe and then open the valve again. If my plumbing, my limited plumbing knowledge is correct, a uh, first aid kit, adhesive tape. A long roll of sticky fabric. Can we use it here? No? But apparently we don't have to fix the pipe. Maybe we haven't stopped the flow but diverted it. Let's see what's in the pantry. This is different, this is orange. What's different about it? Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, because I we always I'm always short. This is like seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or one, two, three, four, five. And three. Three, one, two, three. Okay, so it goes down three more. Let's fix the gray ones. Silver one first. Two up. Two, two, one. Two, two, one. And this was one, two, three. And one, two, three more. Okay, the third one is incorrect. It needs to go one or two more. One or two more up, not down. One or two. Okay, and the other one was like five. So I want to put it one, two, but it's plus three. Oh no, what it means is that I have to do it in the first try. So it's like three, one, two, three, or if I don't do it right first try, when I put the key in, it goes back to the original position. not three it's two one two okay one two and then when it uh, aligns then you have to open it you've opened a complete lock at the first attempt take strainer it's like a big spoon but you couldn't eat soup with it Maybe to catch the snail. No more locks, no more anything. We can also go downstairs. I didn't remember there was a door here. We can open it. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, and one, two, three, four, five. One, zero, one, two. One, zero, one, two. Perfect. Beautiful.
at least I can live this time. Look at the bottles. Okay. Triangle, circle, cross, and something like a bookmark symbol. Uh, place, remove. Okay. Got it. Got it, but don't have the the clue yet. Good to know at least that that's there. And I also remember that we could do something in the library, in the study, I mean, where the books not library or maybe it is library but uh, it's this one but before I get in and go trap I would like to read mm, notebook this one at first I tried to do it with discretion but I got nervous because of the footstep and I didn't do it right I think I moved something on the other side of the door though Discretion. Discretion. Aha. Uh -huh. Stick insect. Let's see if that hidden door opens because they have the same symbol. And for that, I need this. I believe it's this. And this. No, maybe it's higher. There you go. I took the ones on the second row, and there were the ones on the top row. Uh, again, wait, it went back to the original position. So, with this, we open the door. Now, the door is open, but we can't hold it. No, we can we can only leave. And if we input the other one now, the door locks. So there's no way. Now the door is locked. So we have to do that later. But at least we know that's here. We might be going too fast. Right, so here we had the storeroom, we were going to the fountain, to see if the water, water works. So in the end we needed the orb to get here. This bird, I don't trust it. I don't know why. I think I'm not gonna like what it's going to do. Bam! Get out of my way. So now, it's back. Yeah. 
this way the water will spread like rain but it doesn't stick as expected so we turn it off we put it back again but we hold it with sticky tape let's try that I don't want the bird to be there what happens if I put it at max there you go yeah and I can put it in the can beautiful because I was expecting that yeah the the snail comes out but the bird was going to eat the snail I don't know and I would like to turn it off because water is expensive okay that's it we have the snail but we also have screwdriver and the oil from the beginning this way so we got two out of like 16 or something one two three four five six seven eight nine ten by two twenty Finally, we meet her. Yes, that's what I need. What for? <laughs> You've delivered a snail. Cargol. And now, bring me intelligence. Because you don't have it. Oh, we, ha we don't have the book, so... Determination and beauty. Why do we have to get the book every time? So, determination was a snail, but there's the, the golden ratio in the notebooks. I thought it would be something like more mystic, mythological, mysterious, but it's just a snail. Also, it was just a butterfly. So, what? And, but the butterfly didn't have any... Uh, any thing that hinted at something else. It's pictures of evolution of caterpillar, pod, and the butterfly. And different butterflies. Okay, so now... Note. Now the note says, Bring me intelligence. That girl... What could she possibly want these bags for? Intelligence. So, intelligence, this one. Aranea? Araneae? Araneae? Araña? Spider? Spider. The spider is the most common arachnid. It has eight legs and two or more pairs of eyes. It is an excellent predator and adapts its hunting techniques to suit the place where it lives and the prey on which it feeds. Almost all spiders are able to spin a very fine and resilient thread to construct webs and burrows. They can also immobilize their prey with venom or surprise them with rapid movements. They are the best to get rid of mosquitoes. Spider brain is the best ingredient for the exchange ritual 
By sacrificing just a couple of days, the ritual will enable any alchemist to solve the most difficult problems which they might face. The most complicated part is extracting the spider brain without damaging it. If not done correctly, then the time spent is wasted and nothing gained in return. Spider brain is the best ingredient for the exchange ritual. The most difficult problems. Doesn't say what the girl is after. Okay, let's go back then. Nothing new here. And we don't have the can now because it's gone. With the snail. Nothing here. Nothing different. Nothing new. There's someone outside. Going this way. Probably it's unlocked. Yes. Can't get the axe. Let's see. Ooh, basement. Another basement. What is this? Vacuum? It's nothing like a vacuum. So pressing one changes the next. What if we... So now... Ah, oh, we can't... We can't press this. We can only press... Oh, and it, it changes in... So one is diagonal, the other one is uh, straight. You can only press down, you can't press up. I guess we have to turn everything so the sands are up and the moons are down. don't really understand because this should be down. If it changes, I can't press this. I press this, but this ones only go up because I pressed it down. So the buttons can only be pressed down and as a result, only the ones that are down go up. If I press this sun, the two on the right and left go will go up, but the one above and below will not go down. Now I need this sun like this, but I can't have it, so I get this, not what I was after. Really. So I need to end up pressing a moon that lift, lifts a sun. So for example I press this moon 
nothing will go down but I don't need to press it now I need to press it in diagonal in the diagonal like this now I need to press this moon and the sun goes up and then press this moon and the sun goes up but the one that is up doesn't go down and this same and now this that's it Excellent. I got it in the end in the basement I found a toy box with loads of buttons it also has a drawing of a half moon carved into it and another one of a sun which sticks out I managed to open the toy box there was a note inside and a bottle of wine Hello Clem, if you're reading this then you're looking for your charm. I'm sorry but it's not here anymore. I've told you a thousand times that I can't stand it when you disappear while I'm talking to you. So I'll keep hold of it until you grow up a bit. Maybe get out of the house for some fresh air. That way you might even make some friends. That charm, it makes you invisible or disappear. and a bottle of wine for the cellar here seems to be the clue for the cellar playing in the wine library this month we challenge you to guess how you should store your bottles of wine to guarantee their perfect preservation green is young young wines are not aged in casks and are bottled immediately following fermentation how would you place the bottles containing these youthful wines with primary aromas? Well, I was expecting you to tell me. Crianza. Crianza wines are those that have been aged for a minimum of 24 months, of which 6 to 12 months have been spent in a cask. In what position should you place these bottles to maintain the fresh and fruity flavor of Crianza wines? That's blue, which is circle. Reserva. Wines of this category have a total aging period of at least 36 months, at least 12 of which should be spent in oak casks. How would you store them to be sure of preserving all of the subtle tones of these wines? Yellow triangle and red cross. Grand Reserva. Thanks to a longer aging period of 5 years, at least 18 months of which in casks, these wines acquire a complexity and depth of aroma far superior to the others. Where would you put each and every bottle of these prized wines? The answer in the next edition of Cask and Cork for your merry pleasure. Don't miss it. The lens of truth will tell us. One. follow the symbols no rush there you go okay so the young young wine at diagonal crianza is in square shape and then reserva it's an L and grand reserva it's by itself In the basement, there were, there's a pile of wine magazines. It looks like all the editions from 1 to 143 are there. The last one has some pages marked. I waved the lens over the pages of the wine magazine and what looks like the solution to a puzzle appeared. Was this plushy here when we came? This seems to be nothing else. Door. It looks like a worm with its eyes closed, wearing a little hat. It reminds me a bit of me. I think this is a gusilus. It glows in the dark. There seems to be nothing else.
we can go to the cellar then. This we can't open now. Let's go to the cellar because maybe we can explore a little bit more, but... Ah, that's the, the store, the study, nothing that we need to do there. Cellar is this way. Here and then so the green ones I guess I can remove and remove remove the red one probably is the last so the blue ones but I'm missing bottles I'm missing one blue I need four blue for green four yellow one red and there are four green, four yellow, one red, but I have three blue. Maybe it's already inside one of these drawers. So then, now I would like to, I would like to choose the bottle first, not the location of the yellow. So I'm thinking here are four blue. And then, around the bottom here the green ones in diagonal position probably these four do they have to be in this way not this way and then the red one maybe here so yellow yellow i don't like the order So this could be the yellow and then the green something like this and the blue so I am missing one I'm actually missing one I think they are go they go this other way they can go the other way otherwise blue blue no. Um, red one. Something like this. So blue. I'm missing the blue one here. Actually, I can put it the right way. If I go and swap yellow for green. So this is yellow. blue this is blue here yellow yellow green now it's the right direction for the green also yellow is an L red is by itself and blue makes a square but I'm missing the bottle let's look for the bottle we have the solution before we have the tool We are looking for wine. Should be... In a logical place to have wine. What do we have in the inventory? We have the blue bottle. Where did we have get this bottle? It's unopened and the label says Crianza. Wine from the Heinemann winery. When did we get this bottle? Or where? Actually it's not the pantry, it's cellar. We had the solution and the piece. Uh, 
inventory. Excellent. What were we looking for? Oh, the spider. Spider, right? What is this? Little wooden box. It must have something in it because it weighs more than I expected. Uh, separate? Ooh, teleport charm. Ooh, you found the charm. It's amazing. You'll see. You've got the teleport charm. Continue. Teleport charm. This house is huge. When I need to search for the ingredients for my rituals, I have to wander through loads of rooms, up and downstairs, across the garden, I'm sick of it. I need something to help me get around quicker, and which doesn't tire me out. Thinking about that has reminded me of my favorite series, Full Iron Alchemist. Don't think it's exactly like that, but... In this universe, it's called Full Iron Alchemist. When they're in a jam, Edgar and Alfred are able to make things appear. This is not serious. When they're in a jam, Edgar and Alfred are able to make things appear by drawing transmutation circles on the floor. I wonder if I could do something like that and use the circles to appear wherever I want. Of course I can. I've drawn various circles around the house, and to enable me to use them, I've made myself a teleport charm out of a silver medallion and a few amethyst crystals to concentrate energy. If a few days go by without using them, the portals deactivate, but I can reactivate them by approaching them with the charm. Once the portals are active, teleporting is as easy as tossing the charm up in the air, and I'll appear in the portal of my choice. Very cool. My room. Treehouse, front door, Thea, attic, cellar. Square to use. But how do you choose where to go? It's not Alfred, it's Alphonse. You made me doubt for a second. So we got the charm and that's it. Let's find a place to use it. Maybe that's what we have to do now. Here, for example. Bling, bling. So, square. Aha. Wow, this is the map of the house. Yes, but we can't go anywhere. Maybe we need to activate the other end. We still need to get the spider. Uh, we haven't been here in this in this loop, in this episode chapter. Where are the spiders at? Araña. Pling pling. Now I can teleport from here to the hole, piano hole, by pressing square. Okay. But I expect that if I activate more, I can go to there. Or whichever direction uh, I like, not just the last two. Ooh, dragonfly. If I get close, it goes away, as expected. We are looking for a spider. 
I don't remember seeing any. Not in here. No. Oh, there it is. If I try to catch it, it will go away, as expected. But Mr. Sniffy will help me, isn't it? Mr. Sniffy will help me. didn't come back. Let me read Spider. They are the best to get rid of mosquitoes or flies, like in the corner of the picture. I see. There should be a teleport here. But it isn't. So I could go out of the of this room without using the the door. Maybe under the rug. So it's not here. I guess there's under the rug, but I can't use it now. Because that's a way to leave the room without using the door. So I activate the other glyph. The spider will will have come back. It's not back. We have the piano, we have the fountain with the dragonfly, but we don't want to do that. We don't want to do anything with that. The piano, piano, maybe there's something. Some of the keys have symbols on them, like the ones from the first pages of this notebook, but the small ones don't have anything. If I want to do something with the piano, I probably need to keep searching. So I'm missing few symbols. I see there is a sequence of symbols, like one, two, three, but I'm missing symbols. And none of them is the symbol for intelligence. Oh, I can use the teleport without being in an actual teleport. So that's why. I thought I could teleport from teleport to teleport, not at from anywhere. So then I can leave this room. Now. And then I leave from any place. Okay. And now we leave. We come here. Okay. Got it. So this, this girl it has actual powers. Hmm. We are down there, but it's above the garden. It's strange. And how do I leave this place? There's a boot. Take. Shh. 
chew. It's big and red. The smell is strong. This is a um, character. I'm not sure I want to open it. And there's the spider here, which is running away again. And this fountain looks like Hollow Knight. I won't use anything because I don't know what I have to put there. So, few boxes. This is like Animal Crossing. At the top. Bottom one. No idea. Zelda. Let's open this then. Okay, so this is one. This is one, two, three, four, five. This is like one, two, three, four. And this is one, two, three, four. Okay, let's do the gray ones first because they are easier. Three and two more. No. Uh, three and two. That's it. And now the top ones. One and about five. No. This is one. And this is like one, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Beautiful like me. Ooh, that's not beautiful. Voodoo. You found Martin, but it says Voodoo, it's not the real father, or is it? So you see, you see your dead father and what you ask yourself, first thing, most obvious question is not why, you, why are you dead, but what are you doing here? So I expect you to be dead, but not here. And we can take the note. The shoe is from our father. Cut, don't get mad, but I've got myself trapped inside this thing running away from a stupid spider, and now I can't get out. You'll be thinking that I shouldn't have come down here, but I saw a secret entrance and thought that Clem would be down here getting up, some, up to something. Anyway, I don't know who I'm trying to fool. It's not Clem's fault. It's never been her fault. After all this time, I still haven't worked out how to be a good dad. And without you, I've lost all hope. Lately, I'm finding it even harder to talk to her. When she came back from camp, I did what you said. I told her what had happened, but when I looked at her, she was smiling, Kat. I don't know why, but she was smiling. Then she ran off, locked herself in her room, and has hardly come out since. My love, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to help her. I thought about giving her the letter, even though it wasn't finished, but I couldn't. Not that it matters, because I'm probably going to die here. I'm scared, Kat. Clem is upstairs and she can't hear the cries of her useless dad. I failed you. I failed you both. Clem, I don't think you'll ever get to read this, but I'd really like for you to know that although I've never known how to show it, I've always loved you very much. I'm sorry. So, I don't I don't understand. When, when the father wrote this letter, the mother had already died. But he is writing the letter to the mother who is dead. And on top of that, the father dedicates a paragraph to Clem, even though at the same time he thinks she is not going to read it. So it's like, I'm talking to you, but I know you will not read it. But in the end, she reads it. She reads that he thought she wouldn't read it. Video games and notes, they don't go together. They are always wrong. They are always wrong. They do them always wrong. It's either it either doesn't make sense or is written for the player, not because it makes sense within the story. I said it with Eternal Threats, I'll say it with Clem, and I'll say it many times in the future, because nobody does notes, right? Or I didn't understand, but it, that 
doesn't make sense to me. The father is thinks he's going to die, but you are not dead. You are you are trying to escape. That's what makes sense to you. But instead of escaping, you are writing a letter in a basement, in a dark basement, to someone who is dead. The man inside the iron do the iron doll dropped this. So it it is his father. It's not a mannequin or a voodoo doll. What do we have in the inventory? A shoe. It's big and red. The smell is strong. The smell is strong, so it might attract something that the spider wants. And I can't leave myself. We can only use the fountain. Nothing that makes sense. We can't do anything with this. The only thing we can interact... Oh! Now we can teleport. So let's try to get the dragonfly for the spider. Actually, before, we can find out, before trying, if we go to the dragonfly. Dragonfly. The dragonfly is a flying insect with two pairs of wings. But this is uh, another attribute. Uh, insect. So nothing we can do. Oh, the dragonfly is not here. I thought it would be here. So let's go here. We can put the shoe. We can put the shoe in the hole where the spider comes from. No? And the box? No? What about the Gusilos? We need to do something with this hole. Oil. To make it sticky. Oh, I think it says... It, it said it was sticky. It said it was sticky. There's oil on the floor. Oh, now it's slippery. And... Well, it's not that easy. So I have to get it to step on the oil and then use the box. But I'm using the box. Or the shoe. None of them. The girl didn't say 
if the spider has to be alive. I was using the box and now we live with a teleport and we need to go and give the girl spider. And the spider is intelligence? This girl is very demanding. Let's have a look at the attribute. And oh, I can't see the attribute because I don't have the notebook. I have to take it every time. She said strength. Actually, I can read note. Bring me strength. I suppose that girl puts these notes in my head while I'm asleep. Strength is Coleoptera, divine power, so it's a beetle, yes, beetle. Are wings, well, there are many types of beetles. The beetle family is the largest of all the animal families on the planet. One in every four animals in existence is a beetle. That means that there are beetles of all shapes, sizes and colors. But one thing they all have in common is that they have two pairs of wings the first pair is for flying and the other, which is hard, serves as a shell and it is what gives them a round appearance, shiny and colorful. Some species of beetle can grow very large and they are territorial, using their horns to defend their territory against other beetles. The constructors of the pyramids adore the beetle and their ancient alchemists use their beetle shell amulets to lift the rocks used to build their monuments. Yes, you got it right. Ah, so it was an aliens then? No, no aliens. It was all by the beetles. The beetles achieved many things in this planet and we can leave. So, because I foresee that in the 10 remaining minutes that we have, we won't be able to finish the strength. We'll leave it for next time. Um, this. Uh, sleep. Wake up, forget, quit. So we got three attributes. Beauty, perseverance, no, determination. Determination and intelligence. Butterfly snail and spider that's right and we'll see what this girl wants with all these animals with the all these insects not bad for the first day of the first game that we play newly released in in the channel so i want to thank you for sharing your time with me today and i hope i see you next time bye now